Hello, Relius Knights, and welcome to a Friday speed drawing. Today I am working on an art trade with a Frederator member named Ben the Looney. Um, this is his character, Dexter, and uh, it's an anthropomorphic cat, and I usually don't draw too many anthrop anthropomorphic animals. Um, I usually draw humans, so this was kind of a challenge, but it uh, it eventually came out pretty good. The first pose that I decided uh, decided <laughs> that I decided to try was um, you know a standard feral kind of human pose. I draw a lot um, for the chefs in my my story that I do on this site. Anyways, I um, wasn't too happy with that one, so then I tried to do a kind of just neutral standing pose, which I felt. Um, looked a little more natural, but it just wasn't coming out because it just You know it looked like a mouse and I was like dude. What's up with that? So I decided to start from scratch and just Put down whatever my mind had and whatever I had on my mind my thoughts whatever just got it down on paper and just rolled with it and This is the final pose that I decided to stay with which came out pretty good the only thing is that I wasn't too happy with the head, so I took the head from the first drawing and, and swapped it on to this one. And it started to look okay. I wasn't too happy with it in the beginning, but as I started to clean it up, it really started to come to life and I was like, okay, cool. This looks a lot better than the sketch did, which I was really happy about. So, yeah. I decided to give him uh, a white eye, which I, I guess you can, uh, I don't know, I guess it would feel a little more like a dog, I, I, you know, as I'm watching it now, it feels a little more, I don't know, less feline, more whatever dogs are, you know? <laughs> Anyways, so yeah, it also reminds me of the cat from Bolt, um, which I'm not sure if she had a a white eye patch or a, a patch a white patch over her eye or something I don't know anyways yeah and I just did a really you know a quick coloring job on it and as I slowly moved along I liked how it came out and this is probably one of the first drawings that I've ever done that has um, colored outlines I usually keep the outlines black because it makes everything look a little more graphic but this came out pretty good and I have to say that I'm really happy with it So I changed the brush to be able to only write and color on top of whatever you select and I didn't have anything selected here so I had some trouble trying to finish the rest of the drawing with the little details because I wasn't able to draw until I changed the selection. So that was frustrating but I eventually figured it out and uh, was able to continue which was pretty good because I was like dude what is this? You know what I mean? It's like what's going on? So yeah. In the meantime, I decided to fill in the little cracks and crevices that didn't have any color before I was able to finally move on to all the little detail work. So even though I really don't do anthropomorphic animals, I gotta say that I'm really happy with this. Uh, I think it came out cute, I like the pose, and I was thinking of maybe animating this and having um, Dexter open and close his claws, so his claws would flick in and out of his paws, but I figured, I was like, nah, I don't know, I, I don't have the time to animate it, but I think it'd be really cool, and it'd be interesting. And I also decided not to go with any shading, because I, I feel like the, you know, the black and the white kind of just work, and it also saved me time. But uh, yeah. All in all, I have to say that uh, it's a really cute character, and I had a lot of fun um, doing the art trade with Ben the Looney, and uh, yeah. Thank you. 
So here is my finished version of Dexter. Be sure to let me know what you thought of the drawing. Please leave your comments and thoughts in the comments below. And uh, yeah, I'd really appreciate it. Um, you can check out Ben Deluni's art trade. Um, he did Rel Rel, which came out really cool. And if you want to check out the rest of his work, um, you know, Facebook and YouTube and all that good stuff, you can check out the social media links and everything in the description box below. And as always, please like, subscribe, and follow my channel if you want to see more speed drawings. And eventually, I'm hoping to have more animation. I am working on um, refining my puppets. But yeah, thanks again for watching. You all rock. Bye.